Hey, Sneaky Linux back today. As today we're looking at Igel. Now, Igel is from the Philippines. And we're going to have a quick look. Now, it's not as fast as I wanted it to be, but hey, so I've got a bar and button with my files. And we're going to the next one. We have applications. Then we have system settings. Help and documentation. System monitor or task manager. Uh, the other word, if we can call it. An image viewer. A personal organizer, Abbey Word, which I put on just to test to make sure everything worked, a calculator, a text editor, and then we have a movie player, internet browser. That's all on your little bar at the bottom there. So, what we'll do, we'll open up the internet browser. Now, I've got a couple of apologies today. I mean, that's playing, not want to play ball with me again. <laughs> speed so slow so it's not your operating system it is my net tonight it's really really down and low 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 so here's their home page and we are using the D series or graphical desktop series there's also a mobile device series a server series and embedded series hmm very interesting but this one we're using here the desktop environment one that's the baby we've got on the screen so it looks quite nice I'm not sure what browser it is. I think it's one made via WebKit, but we'll have a look at that a bit later, I think. We'll just click on the mobile devices thing here. Now, I haven't looked into it much personally on this bit, because there ain't much documentation on the net. But I'd like to see what they're going to do with this. That could be quite interesting in the future, don't you think? Anyway, we'll close the old browser down. It's not as fast as I really wanted it to be. I was expecting it to be a lot faster. Bear in mind it's nearly a 600 megabyte download. So I was expecting a bit more. Anyway, little menu, you've got My Files, Applications, System Settings, Help and Documentation, about this system, etc, etc. So it opens up all applications from the application section. So you get everything quite a few bit there. Press zero, blah de blah, change your keyboard settings, change your monitor settings, PDF viewer, etc 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 lots there so there's what we had before look I'll just scroll down a bit and show you a bit more and there it is really you know it's all hunky dory it's not doing anything for me just yet but I think the space letter down anyway here's Abbey Word that I opened up myself I opened up myself what am I talking about installed myself just to make sure it went hunky dory looks okay it looks like the current one I'm not sure on the grey theme though. No, no, no. I'll have to think about that one, I think. So we click on help and we'll see what version we got. It's 2.8.1. Okay, that's okie dokie for me. Thank you, Dory. Close the box down and we'll come out of Abbey Word and go and do something a bit different. So, anyway, I will close that. Add and remove applications. Well, I suppose it's a bit like a software center or whatever, just a different way of doing it. So anyway, you want to install new software. So you click here. Oh, Abbey Word there, we've already installed. And we go down, we've got Cell Writer, Crack Attack Game. What else have we got? DVD Styler. Very interesting. I've got it on my system. Genitex Editor, GIMP. These are all extras, by the way. And bear in mind, that's quite a big ISO. I thought that would have been in it. G numeric, yeah, that'd be a nice quick one. So do I want to proceed? Yes. And we'll start the installation. Now you can see how slow my net is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna edit this bit of the video, which I ain't done for a long while, a bit of editing like that. There we go, Boom. straight to the end. And we'll see how we go. Now I was waiting for it to like do a bit of installing. But that was it, that was how quick it was. It was not too bad, was it? Not too bad at all. So we'll close that box. I'll scroll down a bit more for you. And see what more we've got down there. Here you go, home, bang. All the usual suspects, really. All the usual suspects. Mm. Kino. I don't like Kino too much myself, but hey, other people do. It is your choice. That's why you use Linux, isn't it? Because you can choose what you want to do. Now there's an open office suite you can download. God, that'll take me years on this rate, wouldn't it? Remote desktop time, very interesting. Mm, nice little add on. Sweep as an audio editor, yes, I've used that, it's alright, you know, nothing special. Wines there, mm, yeah. and Bible study software, because of course it's from the Philippines, very Roman Catholic country. 
we'll close him down. And where we're we going to go? We're going to we're going to open it. Up. So we'll go up to web applications again. There we go. We'll go up to Office. So it's the Office ones. And there's the numeric, which we've just downloaded. It's a bit laggy, isn't it? A little bit laggy, if you know what I mean. We'll open it up. It looks all nice to me. Very nice indeed. It's just a grey theme that's done, not doing it for me, really, I think. It's a bit samey, the grey bit, doesn't it, really? But anyway, what sort of version we got of G numeric? It'd be the usual, wouldn't it? Yeah, 1.10.0. Close them down. So, that all works. So, yeah, it all works. But it's just not doing much for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's the lagginess in it. Maybe it's just a lagginess. I might actually try a different install on it as well, just in case it's me. But I doubt it. You can visit the website and the support forums, etc., etc. You know, it's all there. It's quite good. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll go back to the browser, because I'll tell you what we didn't do. There you go. Oh, bloody internet. What we didn't do, we didn't test to see if it had any flash pre installed, did we? So, what we do, we'll look to help first and about and see what the browser is. Open it comes. Yes, it's based on that WebKit. So there you go. 2.28.1. So, at least we know where it comes from. There's a lot of browsers based on it at the moment that are hanging around, so to say. Well, not hanging around. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. So I'm going to be lazy and just do this on the bar here, like, because I'm really lazy. And you know where I'm going to go, didn't you, to test the old flash? Of course we are. Back to the BBC. Now that's weird, look. Isn't that weird? It's really... It's alright, I'm wrong, I was expecting something a bit different. It's the way it's laid out, you know. Hmm, weird, okay. It's alright though, it's nice and bright. But no flash pre-installed. That bit ain't alright, really, is it? But again, as it's for the Philippines, and maybe they have different restrictions there. Who knows? If they want to get in contact with me and let me know, let me know. So, go. It's okay. It's not my favourite, but I don't hate it. But, you know, if you want to give it a go, download it. It's about 600 meg download. You know, and give it a go. See what you think about it. But that system, look, there's all the packages in it. This is the other bit I didn't like. You have to agree to a license when you're installing it. Bit of a pain at the posterior. Why would I do that? I don't know. Why, why, why? You don't have to do it in a lot of systems, do you? So why do they want to do that? Is it to make money? Could well be, couldn't it? In the end of the day, who knows? Back this machine, that just tells what machine it is. Dual core, blah, 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 blah. Not much more to tell you, really. Anyway, Ikel, download it, give it a go, and see what you reckon. Sneaky Linux going out work. Bye-bye. See you later.